Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another LEGO Harry Potter review. So today I'm really excited to be taking a look at this year's promo, that being set number 40577, Hogwarts Grand Staircase. This set includes 224 pieces and is currently available from LEGO stores and LEGO shop at home when you spend $130 or more on LEGO Harry Potter products. Now it is really unfortunate that promos like this are only available with one theme because if you're someone like me who collects Lego Harry Potter on a regular basis you already own all of the currently available sets which you'll see in my haul video that I did the other day. So unfortunately I had to buy stuff that I already had for the most part in order to actually get this promo. So starting off by taking a look at the box art you get your logos from the top same style that you'll see from last summer with your characters at the bottom, minifigure of Hermione, and you have a little bit of a darker Hogwarts for the background here, which I might even point out that it's really funny that we have some portraits of various characters like Hagrid and Professor Trelawney. We have McGonagall up here, Moody, Dumbledore and Snape. I just find it really odd that there's portraits of them here and also just some of them being like some of the older variants of their minifigures. It's just really weird. Flipping to the back of the box to get another look at how these stairs can move side to side and also one of our hidden Technic pins. This does actually connect to the other Hogwarts expansions, though it is a bigger Hogwarts expansion than some of the other ones that we've gotten in the past. And I do have to appreciate the fact that LEGO does include tape on this set to make it easier for me to store this box. So yeah, that's all that I have to say for the box. So let's open this up and take a look at what's inside. Included in the box, you get two numbered bags, bag number one featuring two bags, in addition to two loose plate pieces, your stickers and instruction manual. My oh my, does this feature a rather large sticker sheet. We have a few different references in here that I think are rather interesting that I gotta look up more details on, though there are some portraits that I am a little disappointed aren't included in here, which I'll talk more about momentarily. Of course, you get the fat lady here, represented, I think, for like the third time ever in LEGO form. Fourth time, if you count the microscale Hogwarts Castle, so... That's really neat to see that they're actually representing her within the modern day Lego Harry Potter sets. Rather large instruction manual for this promo, again following that style that you're going to see for all the other summer sets with that bland front and then the wind guy from the back. Peace count for a page, rebuild the world advertisement, and a quick look at the Hogwarts expansions from this year and last year all combined. I'll be doing a separate video sometime in the near future where I combine this set to all the other Hogwarts expansions, including the promo we got last year. And then there's the final overall model for this set. For the one and only minifigure in this promo, we happen to get a new variant of Hermione Granger. The only reason why she's exclusive is the fact that she includes those dual molded legs and skirt piece that were introduced back in March in the Hogwarts Magical Trunk set. If you don't know how that works, I'll just remove it real quickly. So then you can see skirt piece which was introduced in the trolls theme and then those dual molded legs with that gray strip hopefully they make something to represent the older students at some point would be really nice torso piece is the same one that we've been getting since 2021 in the hogwarts moment for gryffindor characters you can see that we have the little crest there which wasn't on the 2018 versions and the yellow and red to represent gryffindor from the front and the back i'll remove the hair piece so then you can see the two facial expressions, which are the same ones from 2018 with the smirk. And then the scared look from the back. And the hair piece, likewise, is also the same one that we've been getting since 2018. No doubt this has to be my most favorite Harry Potter promo to date. Not only is it big enough to really feel like it's worth the threshold value, but it really works well with the current Hogwarts expansion lineup. So to start us off, I thought we might as well remove the stairs and just take a look at all the portraits. As you can see from this bottom area, we get one of those giant spinny plates and a lot of tiles for the bottom plate area, which I think is really interesting. You don't really see that within a lot of the other Hogwarts expansions. Of course, you get these door frames that were introduced as of last year in the Hogwarts moment sets, which are really nice to get. And of course, hidden behind the stairs, you can easily see all of those Technic pins that allow you to actually connect to this 
to other sections of Hogwarts Castle that released within the last two years. Now on to all the portraits included in here. Most of these are references to the films and some of these I don't really know what's going on. Of course, LEGO gives us our one Merlin reference within this set, which is interesting. I don't really know if that's a real portrait or not in Hogwarts. Some of these look like they might be real portraits, though of course I can't really tell. Some of these obviously are probably of the designers, like especially this one up here on this Nexo Knight shield, which again, I do want to appreciate them putting him on these just for like the Ministry Decree aspect, I guess. This particular portrait, if I'm not mistaken, is seen within Hogwarts Castle, looking at the ones on this door frame in that dark tan color, which you also get this for the fat lady up here, but this is still practically exclusive to the Dumbledore's office set, so that's really nice to get two of them in this set. This particular door frame includes two references to the film. This one with the flying carpets, which I remember seeing in Prisoner of Azkaban, same as this guy on the swing over there, which I believe takes place in a graveyard, so props on Lego including that, I suppose. As we move up here, we have three more stickers. This one, I don't really know what's going on, but a little bit of brick pattern. We have this one, probably of the designers again. Most of these may be designers' references. We have an empty chair, which I guess is to reference the fact that any of these guys can just pop in and out of their portraits whenever they want. Too bad we don't see a similar portrait either in the Ministry or something. Would have been really nice to see as a reference. This guy, I'm pretty sure, is a reference from the films, and these two down here, not really sure what's going on there, but again, lots and lots and lots of stickers. And of course, to wrap us up on the stickers, who can forget the fat lady? This is the fourth time that we've ever gotten her. We got her twice back in 2001, and then we got her back in 2018 in the Microscale Hogwarts Castle. This is the first time that we're actually getting her again within the current reboot line. This is to represent more of a year one situation, if I'm not mistaken, even though we happen to get portrait references from year three, it is just kind of confusing some of the decisions in terms of what they decided to include and what they didn't include. Like, I would have really loved to have seen Sir Cadogan in some shape or form, or maybe even the medieval healers. I'm just gonna plop those on screen right now. Those are two portraits that I really wish would have been included in here, even though they aren't necessarily next to the fat lady, because again, this is supposed to represent the Grand Staircase, and if I'm not mistaken, Gryffindor Tower is supposed to be on the 7th floor or it might be on the third floor at least in year three it's on the third floor so it's kind of weird some of the different decisions in this being a two floor build of course as i typically say with promos like this it is disappointing that lego didn't release this as just a set in general because this is something that i think people would like to get multiples of instead of just having to spend 130 dollars over and over and over again but anyways placing those stairs right back in the middle so looking at the stairs build, of course, you get the regular stairs piece in brown there. You get this trans clear wall element, which I actually really like getting that within this particular set. Some clip piece connections in order to give us these railings, just so then you can see the building over here where we get these pieces in tan to cover up the studs, which it's really amazing, all of the tiling off that LEGO's doing in here. It is a little disappointing that they aren't studded, so then you can actually stand your minifigure there, though I think that would have interfered with Hermione's skirt, which is the whole reason why they probably tiled that off. I also really like all the small details, like getting all of these little studs there, and also these decorative pieces from the sides. I also think it's really neat that we get an extra little bit of an area to actually stand your minifigure up here in front of the portrait or actually have them able to go up through this area. Really the only thing that I have to minorly complain about as a fan of the books and considering all the book references that we've been getting in the summer sets as of lately is the fact that we don't happen to get a missing step for a character to sink their leg in. I think that would have been really cool to see as an included reference from the books. But anyways, still a really simple, easy design where you can easily spin this back and forth and go either to the Gryffindor common room or over here. And of course, you obviously have the option to completely remove this and just bring this down here. In theory, you can just place these wherever the heck you want. And as I said, you have the option to connect this set to the other Hogwarts expansions with these Technic pins. 
Moving to the very top of the build, I also did want to show off the continuity that we have with the sand green roofs, which is a little annoying if you don't like these. You can easily just remove them, of course, leaving that tan studded piece. It's honestly not even necessary, though I do appreciate LEGO trying to add a little bit more detail to this particular set, especially these slope pieces with the gold on the top, which again is not really necessary, but adds a little bit more detail that I wasn't really expecting to see within a set like this. Now something about this set that we didn't really get to see on the box when it first leaked was the very back so here's a look at that it isn't really too pretty it's not meant to be pretty because you're supposed to add on the other hogwarts expansions and use this as somewhat of a corner piece now when it comes to this particular section of hogwarts this is currently the biggest one that they have made for this new expansion lineup at a 12 by 12 stud length all the previous ones that we've gotten have been 8 by 8 or 8 by 16 Though something I do have to mention is the fact that it looks like LEGO has measured this correctly in order to have your other expansions fit in with this particular section. They just wanted to make it a little bit bigger, quotations on the grand. But other than some missing references and the confusion as to what LEGO is exactly trying to portray year three or year one in terms of their design in here and like placement of certain things, this is a really great promo. You get an exclusive mini figure even though she's made of reused parts and overall for a $130 threshold this set is a lot bigger than the last promo that we got for Harry Potter. So yeah that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Always remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to them upload a new video. So yeah that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!